before we go out to John Brodax, just a couple of things I want to mention. First off, I want to thank John and George Aldrich for the work they did in bringing the Nobler back to the hobby. And we've certainly enjoyed that whole series of building, flying, and trimming, and we're still in the process of trimming, which we're going to try to do in this contest. And I really want to congratulate John on pulling off last year an excellent contest. I missed it due to family obligations, but I don't think we'll be missing any more. So with that said, John, believe me, we're looking forward to it. We got the maps out, and I know a lot of other people are too. And thanks for all your efforts on our behalf in the world of control line stunt. In preparing for this trip, my wife and I have a little a little thing to share with you that I think um, may work for other people too. Is in the last four or five years, what we've tried to do is every time we have what we call an away contest, and for us there's about five or six a year. We like to go a day early, come back a day late, and in Karen's case, she likes to do some antiquing, doll collecting, whatever along the way. So what it does, it makes for a multi-dimensional holiday for us. Now we're not going to put a whole lot of that on the video, of course. This is really a flying video, but it's a thing that's worked well for me, and I know for several other people that have other considerations beside their, beside their own personal uh, little universe that they live in. And for us, it's worked well. And we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be leaving three days before the contest and hitting a lot of the antique dealers along the way. It's something that's worked out well for me. Maybe it'll work out well for you. We've also, just worth mentioning, if you've never seen any of the Nobler videos that John is distributing, the flight trim videos, the buffing videos, we're really making a big effort to join efforts with John and bring this information out to the people through hobby shops and through individual dealers and through people have just buy the tapes from me outright. But all of the information that's on these tapes is the best I possibly can do given the fact that I don't really uh, have professional equipment. Everybody knows that. We're not trying to have a contest in that dimension, but what we are trying to have a contest is to make information available. And not only the information of buffing a plane or building a plane like the Nobla, but also some of the, some of the things that if you just hung around the shop long enough, you'd find these out automatically. And sometimes I forget to put some of those kind of things on the video. We're also testing new types of finishing materials now. John is soon going to be releasing a whole new finishing system that we hope is going to be really state of the art. But just a couple of the projects we've worked on together. And again, I can't say over and over again, the contribution that John has made to the hobby is not an insignificant one. It's not one of just um, parlaying a small segment of the hobby or something that affects a very few people. He's made a giant contribution just like John Misk, Mike Cavell, people that have actually changed the whole hobby, added dimensions to the hobby that weren't there before. And I want to thank all of them right up front. I'm going to load the truck up and I'm hoping we're going to be leaving for a great adventure. John, I can't wait to see your shop. And I know when John was at my house he was fondling all my stuff. And I really look forward to sharing this. Now, think of if there was no video, if it had never been invented, and you lived in Alaska or in Hawaii, some of my customers are in New Zealand, they're in Europe, how would you get this, how would you ever get to see this? It's, it's really a, an amazing miracle, the world of video. So join us now, and it's going to be an adventure. Probably before we leave on this trip, I really have to uh, just look around me and say, how lucky I am to at least be doing something I enjoy doing. Maybe I feed my fish every day. And I think that's, a, that's to me, a big part of being a successful model at any level and any event, is you have to really enjoy it. You can't look at it like work. It's got to be fun or you're not going to be real successful. We are looking forward to having the most fun of John Brodax that's possible. We're legal. And we do have a beautiful lily so Let's pack. Oh. One of the nicest little tips I know of is having this, this is a, a little, I don't know, frail blanket that you leave the planes under. It keeps the UV light off the paint, that's important. Number two, when you're away from home, 
parked in a parking lot having something to eat, you don't wind up with people walking by going, Ooh, we're gonna play and they break the window of your car and steal your Rico spinner. So that is that is a real nice thing and that was Joe Adamusco's little technology I'm passing along. One of the first stops on a little way out the Brodax. This is called a clock. What do you call it? The clock tower? Really kind of a cool place. I've never seen anything like this. It's not really open today. But there's uh, like 20 or 30 little, it's like a Bavarian village right in the middle of uh, Pennsylvania. Boy, Pennsylvania is beautiful, this part of Pennsylvania. Look at this. In each one of these little stores is a place that's a house on top and a shop on the bottom. They have a big fountain inside. Kind of a cool place. And of course, Karen shopped, shopped to death here. Mr. Block, you go <laughs> You find any more antique dealers okay. within the next when two minutes? Shut off. Please shut off. Okay, more shopping. How much longer to go, Karen? Half an hour? Half an hour. We're almost at the end of Pennsylvania, entering uh, almost in West Virginia here. It's been a nice day, though. How many antiques did you buy? Honest truth. Many. Many? Little things. I heard that the state income coffers are going up because of the income tax. Oh, man. We did get a lot of nice stuff. And it's off to beautiful downtown Carmichael. Carmichael's. Carmichael's. Vegas to, uh, I don't know, Maine even. There are many nicer areas than right where we are. It really, it is a nice trip. Pennsylvania is a nice ride. And we're sneaking up on getting there now. We're on 79 already. Now we're going to do a little antiquing before we run down to the field. And this is Wayne, we, the name of the town is Waynesburg. And this is 13 miles from John's house. We've called it Wayne's World. We had dinner here last night at what, Friendly's or Cuties? Or what was the name of the place? I don't even remember the Groovies. 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 And it was good. It was, an, it was a great place. So let's check it out. So what I always like to do is when we go on these faraway contests for a couple of days, I like to get a feel for the, the town, the area. In this case, this is the Green County Courthouse. There's a big coal mine down at the end of the street when we were down here eating last night. I guess this area at one time was predominantly coal mining. Big restoration job they're doing on the courthouse here. Well, it stopped raining. It looks like we're going to be getting going. Big coal mine in the area here. The light. Okay, we're coming into Carmichael's. What's the directions? Go through the flashing light, follow to the next light, which is National City Bank on the right, and make a right. Here's the bank. We've arrived. This little house that John is reserving for me, he bought me this house so that when I can retire from the world of uh, pro stunt, I can come and live out here and fly every day. Okay, we have arrived. We have arrived. This is oh, half right. to the left. Second house. We have a lot of cars there already, so that's what we have here. This is it. All right, yeah, I see some vans, some cars. Oh, my goodness. A lot of people. Some tents. Whatever. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. How much money do you have invested in these motors, my friend? These five dollars a piece except for this one. Oh my god. Yeah, if the world famous Larry Scarenzi 
Did your wife come out with you? Yeah, she's in there. She's in there. You're going to antique hunting or something. Yeah, we're going antique hunting. Walk around by the pool up that side door. They're right there. So, if this fox doesn't work, I'm going to give up and use that thing in a stupid airplane. Yeah, I think. I'll take this one. That'll make a shot. <laughs> on my motorcycle. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, you know, what do you got in the back? That's anything? a combat thing. Anything that fun with today? Nobody's going to fly oh, a yeah. stunship today. No, you, wanna, you can help me. These guys, they want to stay in and bullshit. we got to go out and fly. Let's fly. Come on. What am I going to do? No, this is a combat engine. We don't want to do that, do we? Imagine if somebody stole your car. Oh, my God. Don't do that. <laughs> I often wonder. You get hit in the rear end, and if they, 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 well, you didn't get hurt, you got... 40 airbag combat jobs. Yeah, here's Let's a note, look. From 19-something. Tucson, El Diablo. Will do, but not real good. Maybe I should uh, try that one. <laughs> it doesn't sound too good, does uh, it? Uh, and here's but that a real expensive one. I want to see you burn up one of these expensive motors. It's <laughs> cost a lot of money well, for stick, parts. Stick around, <laughs> stick around. <laughs> There'll be one happening before the well, day, We though. do that occasionally. The $150. Yeah. Is Hampshire coming this out? This is what I won in a raffle. He's there. Oh, it's a raffle. Oh, right. a red 18 ounce airplane. Good engine. Should I use oh, a give up and use a good one? Or should I use nah, a Nah, come on, let's fly. This is baloney sitting around the rain talking. Yeah, let's go. I'm like, what? The official Brodak Koi Pond. Ah, ah, ah. Look at this. Oh, my. How many fish you have in here, John? That's what I'm going to do with that. I'm telling you, I should have brought you out some baby fish. Look at him in there. <laughs> yes, he is. He did it. He was on the phone. Yeah, I'm trying to get Sandy so we get our meetings. Well, you are here. Your name again? Okay, I'm Steve Bittner. Look at this gazebo. you got to check this stuff out. Gazebo-o-matic here. Yeah, there's already 20, 30 people here that look at the flying field. I mean, look at this. Unbelievable. Look at the flowers. Look at a little gazebo. I love this. See, if you were never out here, you'd miss all this stuff. This is just terrible to miss this. Six circle back row backyard here. Oh my god. What are you doing back there? Uh, that's the three seater. Oh god. Pretty little dollhouse. Holy oh, really cool. What's happening, Doug? Good morning, how are you doing? Yeah, wet is how I am. <laughs> we bought every antique in Pennsylvania. I have no more money, so all I can do is launch planes now for three days. <laughs> My wife's taking me into a abject poverty, yeah. She brought me, I think. I'm the field marshal safety officer here. Okay, and he's going to be flying the biplane later today. Oh, I like this garden, look at this. i got to get John some koi. What John needs is a, a nice big mating pair of koi. a lot of the people. Whoa, look yeah. at all this stuff. Holy oh, mackerel. From, from here back, back there are the ones that he flies. And okay. These are the ones that he got, uh, you know, he bought a guy out. He wanted to get rid of his. Yeah. A guy from New Jersey, somewhere. I don't even remember his name. Was, but, uh, well, give me a tour here. I've never been here. Okay. Here's Ken's video. Oh, that buffed up like glass, huh? Oh, my God. Yeah, that is nice. Beautiful. That looks great. Everybody's got an oops mark on it. <laughs> if you don't, know, it's only because the people haven't looked at it close enough yet. No, it's got. You did a nice job on that, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, I look at that. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. We don't have to be ashamed of that. That's for sure. Uh, John came out with this Warbird suit. Here's one of them, the 190. Oh yeah. Can you take that down? We can take. Obviously, not many people running out to get the first flight of the day here. Look at all these planes. What is this, an RC Mustang? Yeah, no, it's a control line. Oh, it's control line? Three, uh, three lined. This oh, okay. is one of the other ones that he got from the kit. Wow. Oh. Uh, again, this is the one. This is one of the Warbirds? Uh, yeah, this is the one I think of Mike Garman. 
okay. played for him and brought it out in test fluid and yeah, yeah. threw it out on the field pretty good. Yeah, cool. So he's in the process of doing his lag, that Russian airplane. So I made one of them and I'm watching your videotapes. <laughs> you can't even walk in here. Planes are attacking you. Look at this. There's planes everywhere. These are the ones he flies all the time. All the yeah, yeah. When, when he flies. Usually he's too busy giving lectures and guided tours and all of that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks real nice. That's Monaco. Yeah, Dad had one special made for her. Definitely nice. And hanging on this wall, so watch your head. Yeah, what well, what is this? Larry Scarinzi's uh, used <laughs> used plane? No, I don't think so. Well, he's got like 70, 80 of them. Oh, it was Oh, oh my God, that's unbelievable. And these are the club's planes. Yeah. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi. We don't want anybody being being hello. left out here. Hello. You're too close to me, though. <laughs> and these are the club's planes. Anybody comes out that hasn't flown her for a while and out there, yeah, yeah. You know, these don and they go through about four or five. A, uh, if they know how to fly, we'll give them a build-up ship. If not, we give them some of these profiles. So yeah. Hey, that's a nice paint job on there. <laughs> The kid did that in about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and John Sun made that one. How are you doing, James? Good. You guys have a good ride out here? Yeah, should have flown last night, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm hip. <laughs> got out of the truck. I said, ah, now it's a long ride. You got all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hear that. And in here is where the shop is where he does the work and ask. Oh, okay. And this is this is the workshop. Yeah, the workshop. Hey, Bob. I think you're going to be a screwdriver. You can unscrew that. You're going to be this one, Tom Hampshire, screwing around. Tom Hampshire fixing Larry Scorinzi's airplane. You get paid for this. It's a life sentence, I think. Or is this free? What was that? Screw it. Pay? Pay? Who? Pay? Larry? Pay? What? Those two are like, don't go together. Can you kindly turn those screws? I gotta go back to the car to get Yes, them. dear. I'll take care of it directly. You know, if you're working for uh, like Don Gallitz or something, you know what you get paid to be doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. working. Yeah, that'll fit right that'll, in there. That'll go good. That'll go in there. You gotta get something to work, Wendy. Nothing to work. Nah, come on, nothing's better than a Fox 35. What do you mean you gotta get something to work? I'm doing all the work in here. I'm the only one. Look at this. And I'm here about. I don't want to step on any of your Kytex stuff. Here's Rudy does always paint. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the kitty cat. Hey! This way we can close the door. He puts film on the windows here. Yeah, yeah. And goes right on up. That's cool. So all you don't park there and get the overspray. All right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
clean it when you come back. Look, I'm impressed. You guys really go throw it up here. See, this is the essence of model aviation. You're covered in jumper cables and coolers and paint not dry yet for the gnats. And is that right? Am I lying? Look at this. You guys got more lawn chairs and coolers and airplanes. Wow. We got a lot of I'll tell you. That is definitely good. This is my favorite right here. You have a little stuka back there too? Yep. Uh -oh. yeah. Let me get that one out for you. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it was 10 hours for you guys to ride up here? Yep. That ain't good. Uh, we can do an hour. Well, yeah, it took us 14 to make a, a 200 mile trip because my wife was buying a lot of antiques. <laughs> yeah. The, the van kept getting lower and lower in the back. It's a nice area up here too, isn't it? You go up, up those rolling hills. This is my, this is my first attempt at clown racing. Yeah, we had that at the club this year. That was a lot of fun. Let me see if there's any uh, room in here. I'll bring and I named it Miss Olivia, which is our granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect, Matt, there, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is unbelievable. This is called a Sky Racer. How many planes do you have in there? Huh? It's like eight or ten planes. I, I see you got a Brodak Nobler in there. Yeah, yeah. I've flown it two or three times. How's the fly? Good? Yeah, I'm still kind of working with it. Hey, Wendy, did you see uh, uh, Pete's flag? Yeah, is in there? No, no, no. You didn't see it? Not yet. No, I've heard about it. I haven't seen it yet. Everybody has a I try. One of my goals in life is to get everybody on video, so when we're all dead, the kids can laugh at us. Yeah. <laughs> it may not be too long, either. It's a look at them old fogies there. Yeah, what do you mean? They're laughing at us now. All right, nice wing. Wow, oh, McCoy, all right. All right. McCoy. Offset Glowport McCoy. Oh, my God. Well, I haven't seen one in a long time. I had one one time. I used to love those movies. That was the only one I could afford when I was a kid. Yeah. Two ninety five. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now you buy a piston and liner for a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that Nova. That Nova looks like he wants to come out and get wet too. Yeah, well, let me get this thing out first. This is a. That's unique. Yeah. That profile scale. Yeah, that's unique. That from your own design? No, I got it out of. They had an article in uh, Model Aviation about, I don't know, five or six years ago. So I got the, I got the uh, eight and a half by 11 plans and blew them up. Oh, you just enlarged it yourself, yeah, yeah. Scaled it off and built it. I, I built this for last, for the contest we had last summer. Mm. That's good for flying off grass, too. Yeah. Now what would really be cool here is build a scale model of that Stearman. Ooh, I have the real one. Oh, you want my documentation? Of course, I crossed the field. That's some more old time stunt stuff. Stuka. Stuka, Stuka. Stuka. That's a Don Steele Stuka. Pants fell off one day. I was flying on grass. Well, I wish it would stop raining. Yeah. yeah. We had about 10 days of rain down by me. Come on, enough is enough. We were all on street fish every day. If it didn't rain, we were rain at night. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is a hassle. I thought I had a hassle loading my van. We got so many. We buy depression glass. My wife collects depression glass. So everything has to be wrapped in 200 sheets of newspaper. Oh, don't worry. You won't break the glass if it hits the plane. No, no, wait. We worry about the plane. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. We had to get, you know what would be nice? To get all the noblers together yeah. and get everybody to line up for like a group picture, yeah. yeah. That is a beauty. Yeah. All right. Kenny's got his. He just buffed it out last week. We were flying it and everything. I want to give get George right. Aldrich to give him a couple of tips on trimming it out. Made a nice kit on that. Yeah, it's excellent. Excellent. I, 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 learned, I learned how to do crutches, cows, motor mounts with plates on him from his videos, see. Didn't hurt you, I'm sure. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> plane will probably crash on a third plate. <laughs> well, I tried to follow your instructions on on painting, but... Uh... Well, we got the first samples of the new Brodak paint. 
in right in my van right, right. now. So you're gonna see what that looks like. Uh, this is probably the, my first attempt at a. Well, it looks fine. That's good. Monaco here. Yeah, that's good. Where do you see the colored paint? You can buff it out. I'll do a demo for somebody. You can buff it out a half hour after you paint it. I'll be gone. Well, I got one more, Wendy. So let me get it. Pop, right? Mm -hmm. No popping. No, no. Boy, I like that. Because I like to paint them. But I'm going to different other things. So all that popping just makes you sick, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. My own point. It, 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 it happens no matter how. Yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. Now, how, many, how much extremes people are going to do to support their hobby? No, this is a best buns. Uh, we're doing a best buns contest, <laughs> and he's dying to win. I've got a video of the mess. You'll take a video of the mess when I finish it. I'll have part two of this video. <laughs> See, this this is how I conjure well, people I to buy videos. Guys. I make sure I get embarrassing things. Then I charge them to erase it off the tape. All right, Viking, way to go. This is this is the world's record for putting stuff in a van. If my wife knew you could put this much stuff, and she'd make me buy a truck like this so she could buy more antiques. All right, here comes some more. Oh, my God, they're coming in everywhere. Oh, you can. Come on, how many do you have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Miss Olivia. Now, that, this, this all came out of this one little truck. Yeah. That's amazing. What there this is. And he's got seven kids in there, too. Listen to the rain here. I can't believe we're out here in the rain. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. You got seven planes in your car? The record is seven. Can you go no, for eight? <laughs> just two today. <laughs> Maybe we can get nine in one of these. Uh... That's a, I'll tell you, I'm impressed. That's probably the most I've ever seen in a little pickup truck like that. Pretty impressive. Pretty That's impressive. Kind of squeeze them in. Where did you and Sarah put your clothes? Clothes? <laughs> <laughs> this is the clothes he brought. Just what he's wearing. Tell him we had to travel light. Yeah, travel light. Yeah. What we do is we travel wear one, one light with one wife. <laughs> but we wear one and air one. Oh man, <laughs> stop at the laundromat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. There is a laundry at the hotel. Oh, we got the laundry on our floor. So the ice. He had to go to some kind of school. I think he had to go to camp this week. Now we got to get all. I'm sure this is not going to be the only two here. Yeah. Get all the noblest together for a uh, like a little group photo. That'd be nice. That'd be good. I, I, I didn't have time to do a, a canopy. I just painted a lot. Maybe next time. Rodak. Tomato garden, so he can have fresh tomatoes when Wendy comes out here to have pizza. Nice little tomato plants. Can't believe this rain. <laughs> when is the bus leaving for Antiqueville here? <laughs> oh no! Hey John, I'll be over in one minute. I just want to take Wendy. Karen, you don't mind if I keep your wallet here? You, I, we, there are no more antiques left in Pennsylvania. They're all in my van. <laughs> Give me there a minute, please. Now, I got your tapes from John. Okay, sure. And uh, this is that lag that I painted your way. Oh, okay. I'll it. check it out. When I was talking to Tom, I can't go. I can't afford it. But maybe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, we do. Hey, Mr. Aldrich. George. How you doing? Yeah, change time. Wow. You had got it too heavy. You had to change it. Not too bad. In your class, Wendy. Not too bad. I see a bunch of mistakes I would have shared. I see a concourse of in your future. Holy mackerel, that's beautiful. I'm definitely Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Out of sight for a profile. Out of sight for a real plane. That is beautiful. Let me tell you. See, when I rubbed it, it started to crack a little bit in here, but I didn't put the 10 coats on it because it was getting a little heavy. Okay, what you want to do, though, is get just airbrush extra little coats in around here. Well, let me try it first and see if I don't destroy it. No, that's so when I modified on this, I love the rivet work. I put a tripler on. Okay. And I have the air scoop here. Okay. Under here, that all the way, you can look all the way through it. Let's see, hold it steady. All right. The same with the one on the bottom. And the gear door is going in? Oh, look at this. Super number two. Beautiful. Absolutely. Now, is that all sig dope? 
uh, all say dope, uh, but I put automotive clear on it. So I just finished this two days. Uh, two day or two weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. See, the little hat got as much extra weight as a damn sick dope wouldn't cover. You got to keep putting it on. Well, if he starts with this stuff here, then that's what we're going to do on the next one. Yeah. Just, I always put little extra coats around the uh, the ribs. Yeah, you know, like kind of flubbed off a little bit, you know. Oh, you make the little exhaust manifolds. Oh, well, I made those out of brake brake hoses here. Yeah, yeah. Who cares if you make them out of? I made mine out of spaghetti. The mold. Man. This is a spaghetti. Yeah. That's nice. The rivets really dress it up too. What's this scientific? The Russian colors. That's your glass bead. Oh, thank you. That is nice. I, see, it's always little details like this little scoop in here. Right. They didn't. It has it on in the book, but yeah, he doesn't have it on his thing. We need a hero lens. Don't else we need? What's that? A lag. No, no, not at all. It looks like a Stormovic. Yeah, a Stormovic, yeah. The, the tank killer that the Russians yeah. had. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere between the X and the I'll tell you, that's a good, for a full-size uh, stunt ship. That's a beauty. We had all kinds of kits of those during the World War II. Right. And I just never had heard of one called a lag. But it looks just like a Stormovic. And it's got a scoop like a, uh, like a Mustang, yeah. like a P-51. That's what does the LAG stand for? Is L-A-G-G? Uh, L-A-G-G. A big L, little A, and two Gs, and it's the 66 series. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just go. But had them. The Japs had them. The Russians had them. Well, you know, the, the Discovery Channel and Wings deal has had quite a bit on this program. Shorted in action and everything. How it just pulverizes those Panzer mm -hmm. tanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they never yeah. said nothing about a lag, and it looks just like a storm bit. Yeah. You know what they did? And the, the Russian bombers, the, the paratroopers used to stay mm -hmm. on the wing and just jump off the wing. <laughs> you know that. I mean, oh, well. Now, you know, that's what separates right. the Germans from the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> the human, the human life is not much. Okay, I'll be back. i got to go to Vermont. We don't know what's wrong. What kind of media? Yes, what? Right. Come on, uh, you know that one thing. My wallet or? Oh. Look at this. I want this on. I want this on. Come on in. I want to introduce you to George Aldrich, my wife, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, George. George. Nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. Well, I don't believe it. It's a bunch of lies. I was in there. Oh, really? <laughs> no, what I told her is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to buff Ken's plane out all day tomorrow. <laughs> Look, 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 the, be on, on tape. Look at this. Yeah, you say smaller? Yeah, smaller than what, a one? Well, <laughs> well then I'm going to take this, so. Watch this. Look at this. Watch this cost me $50. I didn't go anywhere. Oh, I took more yeah. before. Don't worry. Take a quick look at this guy's plane. Look look at the plane he did. <laughs> Semi-scale plane of a Russian, a Russian fighter. Look at that. How nice he buffed it out. Painted the prop. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, I know. This is what I want when I grow up. When you hit that lottery ticket, you always buy those lottery tickets? You have to be good, though. You have to be good. Oh, then I'll never get it. <laughs> Forget it. Okay, listen. This plane, I heard this plane was going to be. This is... This is the one. He's one of those practical guys. This is a high Johnson Stuka, right? Yeah, look at these. Oh, he's good, He's on I think that old upset is a real plane there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him to open that up later. <laughs> the those isometrics there, the construction is all uh, 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 Who'd you hear that from, Larry? Okay, here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, it's somebody uh, out by Jack uh, Sheets had one of these. That one that's I was out. Different airplanes. Right. Was it Duval's? Uh, it was Jack's? Okay, it wasn't like this, though. It was this different. This is the airplane that Jim Jivey flew at 50 years back. Yeah, Okay, so then, yeah, yeah. That's it. We're just not going to bother with any other changes. We're just going to do it. Faster than grease lightning. It really Oh, yeah. yeah. There's planes underneath things. There's planes. There's planes. Yeah, there's planes. 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 Well, I want to get everything. That's something that's... Thanks, Google, with the... East Coast East Coast East Coast East Coast East Coast East Coast I mean, you realize not everybody has this available in their backyard, you know what I mean? This is a 56-era airplane. Yeah. So, you're in that same line. No. 
Yeah. He's the same. No, he competed at the 53 and 57 that yeah, is 61 that time last year. Nuts. Oh, God. At least you never let you do that. It's not liable. I still have my sweeper, but it's in need of uh, some putting a ring back on. Yeah, I guess you can put it on the top of the sweeper. Yeah, but it's in need of some putting a ring back on. You know, it just dawned on me. This is the perfect place for the sweeper. This ultimately the sweeper will wind out and John's ready to make a kid's toy out of it or something. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I'm overwhelmed. That's perfect. Perfect? Look at the wing of your head. It's still raining. It's not that good one out here. Oh, he's got two of them under there. There's another one. Look at this stuff. For a non-flap airplane with those kind of moments, it turned like it did. It was amazing. Look at the head of the that wing. It's very sad. It does turn. There's no doubt about that. Double tape is going up both ways, though. And that's a wing. That this was the wing that was out of the plane at 61 gnats. It crashed. Oh, okay. That was the airplane that ended up flying the stupid place of. What were you running? 40% long Yeah. He flew like a demon, man, fast. He had some fuel to land. He never passed it on, and we have no idea. And I never find any drawings or anything on it. Yeah, he was in a race car. Mixed out there on that sort of thing. Yeah, Johnson, 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 Johnson,
you know that and that's such a pain in the ass because everybody has everything already oh god that's nice he did a real nice job with the rivets too i never knew the guy could build like that that's gorgeous I, I would be willing to bet the next order within one or two planes he's going to be a front row <laughs> guy at the nets he's just a a sport flyer he doesn't care anything about competition he just did it for kicks yeah you do it for yourself you can't do it for somebody there else you, go. you can't if you're building a plane to impress your neighbors and face yeah. things you better be, get a pool <laughs> yeah really <laughs> buy a yacht don't do a model plane it doesn't work they're always going to say something hurts your feelings anyway so you must yeah. do it for yourself unless you're a modeler you don't appreciate yeah. the time and energy goes into anything yeah. how could you appreciate it I mean, this, is, this is hundreds of hours of stuff I guess that was probably the, if anything ran me out of stuff was other than doing the kits. It was the time it took to put the finish on. I got sick and tired of it. I went two and a half years never changed the setting. I had a slot in the cowling so I could take off and not change the needle valve setting. Mm -hmm. The flat did not go even to a semicircle. It was it left more of the round there than it was flat. Mm -hmm. And that fit in a receptacle on the other side to hold it steady so once you found you had to lean the engine two or three times as you came in it'd go lean and then you'd keep yearning and go rich again right you'd keep on and pretty soon it quit because you went too far so you'd back up restart and then you had the you knew you had it in far enough and you find the setting you want once you found it it would stay there and never change the, the that's the old foxes or a new one the old ones the new ones got a, a tapered needle Oh, they get away with the fact because they got so many complaints that the guys just didn't have the patience enough to find that last turn in to where you didn't have to turn it any further. The idea was that, you know, he also had a needle in his combat special. I had a T on the end. It was a T right on the end of the needle. It was just a little tip stuck past the T. And that rode in the diameter, the inside diameter, so that the needle couldn't cock. It be steady. To keep to kill the vibration is what it what well, it, it just wouldn't let it tilt and cut. Okay, right. It, it right. helped compensate for the loose threads. Now I'm afraid they're old Swiss Automax or so they just can't tighten the tolerances up to stop the air leakage. So you put a piece of tubing, that small uh breaker silicon tubing over the needle threads and then screw it in and let that acts like a gasket kind of adds like a gasket step stop mm. the leak in the air. Well, we were having trouble with a shoulder <laughs> last week. It set the needle and fly the plane it would be too slow land the plane go one click in and it's way too fast and uh i, I ended up pulling out the, the whole needle valve assembly put the, the the new ones are steel and not brass and i found the brass one had a lot of slop in the fit the, the steel one seemed to fit a lot well, also the steel one has got the, the bleed holes drilled off center and those two holes should be down toward the engine so that you can't see any holes at all. Yeah, I can't see any holes. And they're, they're 90 degrees to the vertical center line of the venturi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if anything, that would be a help. But it sounds to me like you had an engine that wasn't fully broken in almost to the one click to go that, that far. Still breaking the engine in, but it, the previous week it hadn't been doing this trick. I'd so. like to know the answer. Of, you know, I, I flew 45 years and never had the center of the tank anywhere but on the center of the engine on a profile or on exactly on the center line of the needle valve the center of the tank and never had to shim one up and down to have it change what happened when you went inverted though run perfect never had one burp in the corner so i don't understand a fox giving you that kind of trouble or any engine giving you that kind of trouble what i think it is is so-called uniflow are no longer uniflow the minute you put processing pressure on them and i think the location and the relation of the uniflow tube to atmosphere is wrong is why they're changing in the way uh, I'm gonna we're gonna test it and find out here this weekend is to go back to the old one up and one down with with a positive pressure on both vents and see if they if the engine doesn't run the same upright and inverted. that's an interesting because we just had a, and this profile I made for John the tank shim so far off center yeah. and I got so frustrated I said no way I'm putting it back in the middle and nothing changed I've never had to do anything like that in my life I've always just lined up the center of the tank on the center of the venturi and the sucker ran perfect I don't understand this I, I have to believe that it's the relation of the uniform tube dance atmosphere is changing the way the head of the fuel gets to the engine because the engine doesn't know what position it's in 
I run both button? tanks, George, and it keeps doing it. I run both tanks. I have three tanks for that profile card, and we could change a tank in 30 seconds. And the one tank, no matter where you put it, the motor runs the same. One, it changes dramatically. And the one with the baffle, you put it right on the middle of the glow plug and fly the plane. I know. Well, I'm not I, I, I don't ask me. I don't want to know. I don't, even, I don't even know how to phrase the question. That's why I want this. We squeeze this guy for the information. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm ready to take up and down. It still stalls on the turn. It, it still gives you that boat, like... Yep. Yep. Shuts me down. Oh. Well, you remember the the I can't back up with the and I just gotta watch it come in. The, the bit of a four shot goes blew up and quit. And we went to the match that year in '57, and Duke was something the needle valve for it, and he would get it up on the whites of its eyes and just barely come off a click, and that would keep it flying in the original flight streaks. It wouldn't hmm. reach it up and quit, but you know. Well, what could have changed from years ago to now? Just. We were running over 100 miles an hour that first combat special. Yeah, yeah. So in September, when I went to work for him, he played with it. And one Saturday, he came out of the running room, and he was grinning from ear to ear. This crazy thing would turn a 12-6-9500. Mm. We put the 9-6 top flight on it in a suction tank and went 120 miles an hour on a flat street. Mm. On suction. Was a, that was the Blackhead combat special. With the square intake, the square of the or the round, the, just the, the okay. square that next year he came out. And you it. could take the insert out and make a stunt motor out of it? Yeah, okay. Or supposedly make well, a stunt motor Well, I had it on suction. I wasn't running pressure. Oh. I went 120 miles an hour on suction. What he did, he put a higher baffle on the piston and chamfered the, bi the, the, the let the fuel come around the side so it would four cycle without quitting. Hmm. But before that, in my shop over in Tyler, he built this first tank, and I made another one duplicate. And the wedge was sharp like this, and we put six or seven holes along the crease of the wedge, and then made a little pocket, a little separate tank that went over the top of it and put the pickup tube in there. Chicken mm -hmm. And the fuel, it was a chicken hopper. The fuel would slosh up and down and get into the little pocket, and before it could go rich, it would catch itself and keep on going. Yeah, that's how yeah. we kept the damn yeah. thing running. The Texas chicken hopper thing, whoever did. Well, who, who gets the credit for that? I made a drawing up when we sent it to Vico, and they didn't want to go to the trouble to put that little <laughs> pocket on there, so they put it out with a little extra sharp. Yeah, thing. yeah. I'm thinking of the guy's name in Texas that makes the tanks. What's his name? Oh, Glenn Wells. Okay, makes tanks with a little chicken hopper yeah, in the back? Yeah, TRW, yeah. TRW, right. 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 TRW, Glenn R. Wells. Right, and he makes them right to your specification. Well, right? that works. Oh, I hear somebody flying. Well, I gotta be Larry. Who's flying? This is great. You sit in your shop, you can hear flight in the room. What's yeah, this? It is. It's in your shop, and Damarill's already doing a wing over. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's still a little tail heavy now. Okay, but you can take the tail weight off, right? I took the tail weight off. Okay. But he also says it doesn't have enough movement in the elevator. And we can change that easy enough. Oh, yeah, we can change that really. <laughs> I just did it in my Spitfire. You were sitting there while I did it, so how hard can it be? <laughs> you need 45 45. Okay, so what he's saying, we got to make a hatch. Don't have what 45. What is that, 30? That's okay. about 30 degrees. Okay, so we can drill another hole on top of that hole, and you'll have, you'll have more degrees. I never told very many people this, but the original had 50 degrees on the flaps at least. More flap than elevator. Ah, see, we're getting all these secrets out now. Well, it was the old Vico horns, and it's the only way I can get right, right. enough flap movement. I, I felt like we needed to, to, to slow it down for the corner. Right, right. Well, on my plane, I have a hatch in the back, so I can go any one of four adjustments. Well, later I went to one-to-one -one ratio on the 57 airplane, the one to walk with, and it just was fine. Right at, with the one-to-one? One-to-one. Yeah, but the old ones, it seems like you had a tinker room. But it's not a big deal to make a hatch again. That's no... I'd like to see that warp come out of the wing, too. That's easy to when do. When he was doing the kit, I tried to tell him, you've got to cut that little Steam. oblong Steam hole it. in the top of the double sheeting right over the bell crank. Right. And you take the long exacto blade, carving blade, and you go in and you take the rib away to clear the bell crank. Right, right, right. 45 right. degrees. Right. <laughs> and if you don't do that, you can't get enough movement. But even that, even then, then having a hatch in the back makes it nice. Then you can change the slop, add slop, take slop away, make it more elevator, more flap. So we'll make a hatch over What's the weight? Same exact as I have on a Spitfire. Yeah, we'll use the same pattern. So you don't. Uh, we have a scale right here. We yeah, let's weigh it. Weigh it. 
My uh, scale is bullshit. You don't want to weigh anything on my scale. I don't even want to weigh my, my stuff on that anymore. The 57 airplane weighed 47 ounces. The original weighed 48, and they were the best of the lot. So these guys all think if they're making 35 ounces, they're going to be killer planes, and that's not true. I haven't found that to be true anyway. The weight is not the governing factor. Mine was 33 ounces, and it was not a great plane. Uh, it was yeah. good, but not great. Okay, you're at... Vitamin wheat, three quarters plus one, two and three quarters plus one, sixteen, sixteen, twelve. Thirty-two. You probably went to high school. You're right. Yeah, here. Need a computer to figure out. Forty-four, forty-five ounces. Okay. Forty. So that's not bad, is it? I mean, yeah, here out. you have it from the king. Now, right. take an ounce off Buff in the plane. Sixteen. We'll take another ounce off Buff it some more. You can both buy it. They can outdo off my flight. Just remember, it's in ages. It's 46. 46 yeah. ounces. Is it? 46 is not. I wouldn't get nervous about 46 ounces. Two pounds, seven eighths. 46 ounces. Thank you. They took an ounce off. Yeah. Without fuel, they got a balance where that leading edge sheeting goes into the fuse. Right here is what you're saying. Just right at three inches back. All right, so it is a little tail heavy. Okay. So what that'll tell you too is as you take more and more paint off the back of the plane, it's going to get better and better. And the more you bring the nose weight in there to bring it to balance, the better it's going to stay out on the lines. Uh, adjustable lead outs. When when we had a, when we had a slug in the nose. We didn't have enough line tension above 45 degrees. You just go up here and then bang, it feels like you don't have it. But proper use it. Uh, pop flight. That's a lot of the problem right there. Lousy problem. See, I never ran top flights, props like that. They made a Prestwood 10-6. It was actually a 10 four and a half to five. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever put it on the market. You know how the the old plastic coat for a press wood? Yeah. But well, Top Flight had a 10 6 like that. Are those the 10 6s that you got in the box? They they wasn't a real I got them from John's. I don't know. John would have to tell you. <laughs> I don't have any of them. I flew a 10 5 YNO, the old YNOs. I haven't tried the new ones, so I don't know. But when I built my replica with an OS 35, my outboard wheel was almost an inch behind the inboard. It was flying in such yaw. I had to move the lead outs forward an inch. It was so much more power. Mm -hmm. What I don't know is what, what you need is more pitch at the tip than you have at the 70% station. That increases your line tension about 45 degrees. It's really been proven in the last inch of the prop is what I feel always does the work. Is that your well, feeling too? If you stop and think, a prop is nothing but a wing. And for years, as free fighter, we washed out the tips to stop induced drag so the tip wouldn't stall first. Well, even a stiff thing like a prop, over which a wing, it's still going to wash out some as the torsional action act from the blade working acts, it's still going to wash. So if you increase the pitch of the tip to a little bit more than what it is at the 70% station, when it washes out, it'll be with the pitch you wanted to begin with. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. And this is why you maintain better tension. It's been proven they've gained two or three seconds in power racing by increasing the pitch at the tip. Free flights are going up much better now because mm. they got more pitch at the tip. And with the carbon props, it's real easy to do. Yeah. Well, they have memory. And if you don't mold it in or carve it in, you heat them with a heat gun or put them in boiling mm. water. And well, we take them to Texas and put them on the runway. The sun bitch <laughs> goes right back at you. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. a two-hour job to do that. Your yeah. Frank just drives himself up the wall. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I do it different than Frank does, but uh, what I found is the only thing that makes a difference in the, the way I do this stuff is I only bother with the last inch. I, I don't bother with the hub and all. They try well, to bend them at the well, hub. I couldn't agree with you more. It's the, from the 70% station, 70% out. 35 or 30% is all it counts. Yep. Is yep. that extra pitch is supposed to be. But you tell some people this, and they tell you, oh, no, you got to bend them at the hub. you got to bend them with the... Uh, uh, well, I, to me, I don't know. A lot of that is mumbo-jumbo. I, I got BYNO. I got BYNO 10.5s and 10.6s. I'll put a BYNO You may like the 10.6 better because it gives you more airspeed. I don't. I never like to fly faster than 5.8. Most of my flying was done at 6 seconds or slower. Mm -hmm. And my motor run was 7.5 minutes. I had 30 seconds to get the sun on the ground before I overran. <laughs> I just barely got through the pattern.
Yeah, yeah. It'd be a C four or five when I dinged mine over. If I had to, had adjustable lead outs, going to move my lead outs back a quarter of an inch, I was doing the pattern in a seven and a half second lap. And I got to the vertical eight, and the crosswind picked it up and just took it off the top of the circle. I needed the lead out to be back about a quarter of an inch, and it wouldn't have done it. I didn't want to cut in to move them again. No, no, no. So essentially, it sounds like it sounds like what's happening with this little plane is that 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 by today's standards, by cardinal or pattern master standards or whatever, uh, this is a very nose heavy plane, and you're using you're using all of that that elevator movement to wrench the thing out of uh, level flight. Is that correct? Well, I don't know what you call it, wrenching. I, I flew so much slower than what you guys were flying. I, I, the airplane looked like it stopped and turned the corner and went off. Mm -hmm. And we weren't really turning five foot radius corners, nowhere close to it, but we didn't have video cameras to look at it then. No, yeah. What the rules should have said when I did it was that when the, the square corner is done properly, was an abrupt 90 degree turn. Yeah. Yeah, five foot is like a meaningless. Who's going to run out with a ruler and measure? Just came from a guy up in Chicago named Ross McMullen, who was editor of Model Aviation, and he had a, a crazy stunt ship that would turn. He thought in five foot, so he put the five foot radius, and that's where it came from. Total mistake. Should never have been done. Yeah. I've seen this, but that's a pretty small. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just talk about one big, after another? Big, another, big, another big, yeah. Danny's look great when you had that for some for him. What does that yeah. weigh, Bob? Right now, about six, I guess, five and a half, six. I cleaned my building room up once, and then the shit hit the fan, and I, I'm going to have my wife's got it all stacked up again. i got to go back there and spend another day cleaning it up just to be able to find the push rods to put them on my test bed airplane so I can get back for it again. Get to where I don't fall on my ass when I get out and fly, I get so dizzy. <laughs> what, what is that one? Though? This is a Mustang. You got the gear. He's got a P51 Mustang. He's designed. Got the gear plates in there. Yeah. And pop right out and gear goes in. I had two airplanes I never had to trim. The original Nobla and the Ag 140 size. They flew off the board. Never had to do a bit of trim. See a raffle that I'll do Probably. I'm not going to finish it. Why not? Why not? I'm not building any more conventional airplanes. I want it then. Make a bid. <laughs> for sale. Make a bid, yeah. mug them. <laughs> Make a bid, yeah. yeah. These are mounted kind of like RC gears. Where you yeah, the, the tr tr uh, trunnion mount. Yeah. yeah. Start to talk a little bit about that. On Two it. plates. It's a plate of, of light fly, about an inch and a half wide and three inches long. And then put a the wire, eighth inch, and you put the wire where you want it on there. You make a mark on there where you want the lens you wire. And you put another piece of eighth inch light ply either side of the wire to form a truck, okay? But eighth inch light ply is not really eighth inch thick. So when you put the covers on... Because it makes them even more than you. Does anybody answer that? Yeah, hard enough on the fore and after where the gear is to, so that when you put the plate in place, it just touches the top of the gear wire. The four size of seven thousands is about what you need. We have a 440 here, I'll take it out. Yeah, we're laying over there on the bench is a little a screwdriver type uh, 440 with a black handle. Where would that be? It should be right there amongst that pile of stuff. Ooh, bag, maybe? In the bag. That's where it is. Yeah, I've decided to go from building nothing but canards. We've got one about two-thirds done now. Yeah, I'm looking for something that's about the size of this thing. I had a half-acre knife and I flew anything I've ever owned in my life. Is this the same as Danny's? They basically built off the same plan for him? Yeah, we're building the same jig in the same shop the same day. Hmm, okay. Did you ever see the guy from New Jersey with a canard? No, there's a gunship. No. Hardwood. I never even heard of it. The 53 and the 57 uh, match. And I, these things are drilled either with these shells. Really? I never even saw it. Extraordinary. And he was, so that, you know, it's never full. He was a with a mustache, and he was very cryptic. He wouldn't talk to you very much. He came out and knew this. Of course. Uh, I was really impressed with yeah. him. And he just packed up his shit up. He got through his body and walked out. He wouldn't talk to you. He wasn't friendly with anything? No. Oh, Jesus. And I was, he was very impressed. I never saw an airplane corner like this that thing did. Well, Bobby's seen it. Uh, yeah, I saw it flying. Do you remember what the guy's name is? 
he, no, I don't. But you know what? There was a thing about him in um, November of '58, American Modeler. I remember that because that's where Larry's Gay Double was published. And remember the uh, Ask the F Ask the Experts column they used to have? Yeah. It, he was in there. They were asking about Canards, and he was in there with a picture of it. Well, I don't have very many American Modelers, but I, I need everything. If I don't have it, Larry has. It. It's the one with the, um, the the mail plane on the cover, the, the, the painting by, I think, uh, yeah, Al Smith, yeah. of a Boeing mail plane, a yellow and blue mail plane on the cover. November 58th. You know, I gave all my magazines to the Pampa. He shipped 21 boxes, $397. <laughs> <laughs> Not the, the ribs are... Uh, got all the model wheels are 116. Yeah. You have a complete, like John Misk has, he's got the, every model, every magazine, ever. Oh it's my God! On this well, somebody, somebody has them. Somebody has them. Has them. Somebody has them. Someone has on the outside of that. Well, that's, that was a yeah, private exactly. donation. Uh -huh. that Did you ever go to John Miss Seller and see his collection no, and stuff? Oh my God! Oh. I kept my 1930s and 40s model airplane units that didn't pertain to stunt. They're mostly free flight. Yeah, yeah. I have all all of 1943 or 44. Where's that cat? I want to say on this million acre lake. This is the official Brodak luxury cat motel. <laughs> That's the balsa lover. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, what are you doing, of course? He struck Derby. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, 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 Sean, did they make you empty the little pans around? Yeah, buddy. He's a sweetie. He climbed up my leg the other night. He the devil. He brought blood on me. <laughs> <laughs> Attack. You guys are too loud. The poor cat. Those con when are you going to fly that combat job with the expensive motor, Larry? Come on. Oh, it worked. Do you fight the guys off with the $100 that offers on that thing? Well, after a real interesting interview with George and a lot of, a lot of good talk. A lot of good talking about the good old days. What do you do if you crash? Oh, no. <laughs> How did you get that? Is that an official Brodak product? Nah, it's a slammer. <laughs> oh, God. It's cute. Oh, no! Oh, no! I gotta remember that all day. <laughs> Let's see who's flying. Ah, a bunch of old oh, Got a couple guys right here flying already. Tom Hanker. This is Friday. It's around, uh, let's see, 1 o'clock. All ladies have gone off antiquing, I think. They took all my money. We're just hoping we're going to have some nice weather for this weekend. Hope for the best. forward to waiting for John to get back. Take a little tour of the shop. The shop has just been moved the last week. It's still said it's quite uh, messy. It doesn't matter. I'm sure most people that don't have the ability to come out here and enjoy this in real life, this will be a good second choice. Old John DePavio design. Now, I remember in the 60s, yeah, 60s, John had the original one. He had more than one. I don't even remember, but I remember him flying that out in Long Island and at Flushing and had a different contest from, from my younger, younger days, as if I was a little younger. I was born old. You can see it looks a little breezy and buffety. We're kind of on the top, I guess on the top of it, maybe it would be an accurate way to put it. 
But I tell you, it's hard to believe it, that you could be in a... If ever was a place for it's stunt heaven, stunt whatever, whatever religion you belong, stunt through to heaven or something, this would be it. Looking forward to seeing the shop. The hobby shop's unbelievable. Several people flying here, they got a couple circles going. Yeah, I just hope we get some nice weather for the, the next two days during the competition. But it's really the fun fly part of this, the hanging out part, I guess, much like DSC. It really is the fun, seeing George, seeing some of the people you normally don't get to see in our circle of friends. Tom Hampshire. Still got to get the one going where he holds the handle in his mouth. He's only got two going. I wonder if he's going to land both of them. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> so I got a good feeling, you know. I took, uh, 
Uh, Jack, you got a solid I beam wing in this, or uh, have you have you cut the holes, that extra lightning hole that you the patented system for making the I beam? Okay, good man. It's an unbreakable I beam. Unbreakable, okay. All the paths are one piece, one into the other. Okay. Two weeks ago, I pulled it out, put some wires on it, put a plug on it, and the damn it's still good. Oh, good. good. Incredible. Oh, Jack. Start it quick. Let me launch it. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> we might take the airplane. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Forget it. I like the prop. Oh, get diamonds on the bottom, too. All right. <laughs> so you can know which is up and which is down. <laughs> and I got numbers on them because I got three arrows. Oh, my God. Joey Rowe is just jealous. He's going to be over your house later. Number three is at home. Jack, I think if you get to see the diamonds, it won't matter whether it's up or down. Look at my elbow, he got stuck in his neck. He's got a stick in his neck. Whoops! Okay, it does. <laughs> okay. You know what happens when you cross Viagra and Minoxidil? What do you get? Don King. <laughs> I heard they stole a whole truckload of Viagra over in the Bronx the other day. Police are looking for the party criminal. <laughs> You guys are low class. Computer upgrades? No. <laughs> so you got an old machine. You put it in the floppy drive. You get an upgrade to a hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what. Well, all, all about my <laughs> <laughs> And don't you ever be a new biggest here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the new model in the White House? Swallow the eagle. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> okay, guys. Mine's supposed to fly, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, listen, I bet none of this got on Bobby's. <laughs> <laughs> but it all gets on mine. <laughs> if I get it with you. Oh, my God. Wendy, notice this little feature to make it look neater. I covered that up with a little box. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Who'd you copy that off? Did somebody else do that? Oh, you both. <laughs> Did you do that, too? I see, yes. Thanks, Wendy, right by the box. Yeah, oh, but kidding. it's invisible. You can't Honest read it. Honest to God, I never saw it before. <laughs> Cross my hat and hope to die. Uh, you know what I hope? I hope AT&T bills you for 15 cents a minute for all your long distance calls. <laughs> and they will. <laughs> it is cold. We don't get even. We give you a big phone bill. No, I don't want to fly with that. That's for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not sure it's tight enough anyway, so okay. okay. I hope you don't mind. Oh, that was for, okay. That was for the uh, purposes of photojournalism. Okay. Yes. Video journalism. Yes. Concourse journalism. You can't Whatever. use, takes the motor out, the prop, the muffler. Tomorrow, I'll put that one Oh, uh, Jack, Jack, right. your image is shattered here. You don't put it on video. Don't Jerry Sipper never took his fancy prop. Jim Dewey never did this. He flies them with his fancy props? You see me, I fly with my yeah, fancy props. He never changed his props. Never. You know? This is this is known as wimping out, Joe. Are all those guys experts? Wimping out. I'm not an expert. Put yet. that prop on and break it like a man. <laughs> <laughs> never mind the week's work. That's right. Never mind that time and money. <laughs> Look at, for my zilts, I got two. <laughs> oh, man. Gee. This is for my other Aries. Man, I've heard of a dog and pony well, show, but this is a <laughs> dog and prop show. Oh, God. Are we videotaping this whole <laughs> thing? Well, uh, minute? Uh -oh, Jack, minute. Jack, Jack's got, uh, sticking this to the limit here. I think it's showing that, that there's not a lot of subject matter out today on track. <laughs> it's getting yeah. thin. Because we the got the haven't come out yet. video cameras <laughs> are here watching a guy change up. I don't know how thrilling you can get. Yeah, right. Fellas. It tells you something. lens cap on. You're almost a flare with which I put on the spinner. That's wonderful, Jack. I never miss not taping Jack because you never know when his wing is going to fall in the middle of a flight. I just put music Cut that out. No, 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 it's easy. This one isn't going to fold. What do you got, lead in the back plate, Jack? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was the only one did that kind of stuff. I couldn't keep it steady. <laughs> and I got the lines close together. Now, what do these things mean, Jack? Well, the UFO heliport pads or what? Uh, no, there was a couple of line nuts in his tank. Is, uh, that's it. Make the guy more nervous. This is the, uh, this is the vent. You don't have to. You know it to get away. I tried to write it, but I couldn't. I couldn't get the letters going. Oh, all right. So alcohol and a towel and away it went. All right. <laughs>
Jack. We need some excitement. Keep this in mind. Got more video cameras than pilots here. Come on, Jack. Get your motor running. Da -da 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 -da. Diamonds really do look good in flight. Nice profile Aries, Jack Patola. Right now, I can see Jack. Hold on, John. Yeah, we'll be right for you, Sorry, Jack. We'll get you next flight. All right, don't don't do anything with that till I get back. We're gonna go videotape the right, shop. Okay? You're under orders. All right, before you walk away, I can get a picture. John was having a lot of trouble getting tip weight, getting enough lead to make tip weight, so he dug up the sidewalk. This is the Brodak factory. The new, all new. No, not even finished, of course. John, years from now, you're gonna laugh. The John official John Porter party here. Windy. How you doing? Just in what you think we're working for the FBI or something, yeah. <laughs> IRS or something. Look at all this ball footage. Woo! This is the die stamping? Yeah. 
Look at that. It's making two ribs, three ribs? Yeah, two ribs right now. Two ribs at a time? Usually I do about six at a time factory, huh? Yeah. See, George. George would love to see this. Oh, he's going crazy. George would just go wacky. Wacky for wacky. He would be worth the drive just to uh, oh, yeah. bring him down here. Yeah, we make him crazy. Look at some of the... How, how much balsa wood is here? You have any idea? Roughly. I don't have any idea. No idea? Unbelievable. Probably. Thirty, forty thousand dollars worth. Forty thousand. At least, I'd think so. Where they make the perfect tanks. Oh, a fire Right. Yeah. Never Ready to fly. Really? I never knew Walker ever made that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Where'd you get them? Is that original stuff, John? Yeah. Look at them. Yeah, it's original stuff. Yeah. Wow. I've got two fire baby bikes new in the box. One with the engine and one without. What is that? Vico camera? Yeah, I, I, I got parts just, I got parts in my life. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. Oops. How many kits you estimated here, John, roughly? A thousand? Oh, yeah, easy. Easy, a thousand. Yeah, look over here, Woody. Oh, I got uh, two thousand here. Two thousand here? Okay. Yeah. But here, we put two hundred on a pallet. You can see what size what though. Oh, yeah, my god. The latest God. one we did is center. See how high it is? That's yeah. Okay, those are the new ones that haven't been sold out yet. Yeah. We just, we, some of the Warbirds. I changed the name on it, doubled in sales. I couldn't sell the power. That's a 10% or 20% PO oh, vehicle power. Right, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. He never, he never, he never kid it, remember? Yeah. He had the smoothie in that. Yeah. And they did the smoothie and left that one. Yeah. Hi, Jan. How are you? Hey, who just... Oh, it's nice to meet you, sir. You know George from last like, week? Yeah, I know. Was one of your girls? Yeah, that's uh, Jane. one of the girls. She, she, yeah, yeah. So I gotta get you doing this. <laughs> okay, my wife doesn't go for that stuff. Wendy. Oh, you're Wendy. That's Wendy. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're famous. You're gonna be. This is this is Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday. By Wednesday, you'll be in New Zealand, Australia, England, Switzerland, and 60 in the United States homes. You'll be fake. You want to dance? I know your voice. You want to dance a little bit? If you feel if you feel like a dancing a little bit, you know. Were you expecting a a younger man or what? How are you doing, Tito? <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. I am nice, ain't it? Like, come on. I'm not as old as I look on video, ain't I? <laughs> all that. Look at that ball spot. Feel that ball spot. <laughs> look at all these bolts and washers and nuts yeah, and screws. Yeah, I have everything in order. Let's see, Card Brodak this Cardinal. Brodak Cardinal. Would you like to uh, make t-shirts now? Brodak Cardinal. Look at this. Oh, that's unbelievable. Oh, I love it. That's at the bird is perfect, by the way. The bird is just... Yeah, he's got the luck. He's mean, but you have to love him. He's like a mean, he's like a tough guy you could, you know, fool around with. It'll That's be great. a few months. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 
We'll get it. I've already got 50 of them sold already. <laughs> You'll be shipping them and packing them. Now. Seriously. I can't keep up. Well, you'll, you'll have to work harder. <laughs> no, that's good. Brodak Cardinal coming Thank soon. You. Coming to a ship. Look at all these jets. Look at all these screws. All the 440s are on the bottom. Oh my god. All the 630s. 922s and brass islands. And all my luck horses together. Oh, symbols and bimbles and. Look we at got this. it all. We got it all, oh. Wendy. Line connectors, big line connectors, small line connectors. This is all the box labels. Yeah. This is all the decals. Does he have a box label for the Cardinal yet? Did he make it up yet at the print shop? Not yet. Oh, here's the new We don't make street. it at our print shop. Yeah, Not like even I said, I'm doing the flight streak. This is the trainer. This is complete. Oh, right. It's, we have complete ones right down on the end down there. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got some on a pad. I have some wrapped down there. Who's this guy on a box? He looks familiar. I don't know who he is. Who is he? He looks old. A little wrinkled up. That is a good guy. I don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody out here is well, except me is old. I'm the only young guy left that's under 70. More balsa wood. Now, that's what you really need. This is the flight streak parts down on the bottom. Okay, this is for the soon to be. This is the full size flight streak, okay. which will be today. I will have some of these packaged oh. today. They'll have some out of the contest for George to sign? Yeah. Okay. This is the. This and this is the trainer flight streak. Okay. And this is how I package. Okay, now to make a typical kit, you put the box I'll over here. I'll what I do. Okay, make like a run through of a okay. kit. This is the flight streak trainer. Okay. And what I do is, I have so to admit here. Okay, how many go in each box? And I have 21 in my pile. Okay. And at the end of my 20 kits, if I have one of everything left, I'm good. And if not, if I have two of <laughs> you got to go back and dig them out, out, right? And open every box. I so make five at a time to show you what a coward I am. One of these, and okay. one of these, and one of these, and one of these. Do you know what each part of these is? Like, you know that's the motor mount. Okay. Yeah, one canopy, right. and of course, so the band. This is nice. And this is it. nice, like a little thing to keep the wires from all rolling. Yeah, together. I made nice. those last couple weeks ago. No, a lot of people they landing gear. They don't do too good. A little longer and glue something on the back of them. You can put sandpaper on the inside and sand the front of your uh, wing, green wing. <laughs> yeah, right. This right. is a this what, is a what, zoom mic kit. One plan and the wing. This is a real quick kit here. Yeah. This is an easy, when you do the Cardinal, there's 72 ribs. No, it's the, um, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't tell me that. And they're all different. Now I have to Very put high package tech. by Jan so that okay, if I miss something, Jan. they know to come and get me. Okay, and boy, what's your home address now? And well, we'll call you home phone. Okay, so that constitutes making of one that flight street one trainer. That is flight street trainer. Wow. That's great. See, this is nice to keep the plans. He's in the kit then, business, but he only does easy kits. They're foam. Oh. There's not many. Kits. Oh, okay. I'm doing a power kit. Power the king of foam. Over there on the oh, okay. The it's up there. Yeah. Yeah, I have the rights to do that. Oh. All right. So you have to get it over here. This one. Oh, this is the shrink wrap. Okay. This is the shrink wrapper. I'll show you how it works. Yeah. So obviously when you ship them, they have the clear plastic. They don't come popping open or anything. Right. And that's heat sealing it and shrinking it all at one time? No, that just seals it. And then you heat shrink it, and it doesn't matter how to move when I turn this on. Oh, okay. I keep it on because it's got heat on my Oh, okay. But everybody knows you can do it with a hair dryer. Put it in and it goes to. through and it shrinks it because it's getting right, hot. Right, right. And then it, in between, if you get hungry, you put the sandwich in and it goes through. <laughs> put and your and hand in there. That's right. You make grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. And bring them in and heat them up. This is nice. So uh, what are you doing? Counting up nuts and bolts and washers and screws? Well, making up hardware packs. The hardware See, package for the flight street. People that don't make kits think think the things go in the bag all by themselves. They they count they think the bell cranks get soldered all by themselves. I'm hiring him. Tom Snyder, you're hired. He's a good man. You're hired. I don't care what the plastic factory says about him, he's a good man. You're hired. I love the smell in a factory like this. Oh, with the old hinges? 
That's the car hand. All right. So you start at one end, just pretty much a mirror image of... Yeah, and just go right there. the tags. One of cloth hinges, 18 inches. One. 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 And so on. All right, and just go right down as I you might be said. labeled, no, see the numbers on the bottom? Right, right. Yeah. Number with a circle indicates yeah. the quantity. When I get it all together, I number it. So there's a sign at the end of the line. It says idiot proof, so it won't be this line. <laughs> <laughs> is there anybody that works for John that doesn't have fun? Tell me the truth now. Truth, this is going to New Zealand. Everybody has fun. When I call up here, it's like I'm calling a high school reunion or something. Well, I know... I, I don't know about the grocery stores, but I know that the video... They're having fun. We have fun. I know, the girls are all Does having fun. Have fun. You're not having fun, who needs it, right? Uh-oh. I'm gonna. I lost my voice. I'm gonna try to get a hold of yelling in this building while we were moving. Yeah. The truth is, Kenny and I work pretty hard too, but we always have fun. We always have fun. Well, we so what do you have kit? Fun. Do you have a place that you kit them, or do you do them at home? Uh, no, I have. Uh, I bought uh, Aerosmith Model Aviation from a guy named Scott Smith, and that business I cut foam wings, um, mostly on a custom basis. You know, some job stuff, but mostly on a custom basis. And uh, I'm ex and with that came the right to do the prowler kit. Uh, Scott had Bobby Hunt uh, design up a profile foam wing stunt plane, and it hasn't been in production in a couple of years. But I'm ordering wood and getting ready. I'm getting all your secrets. I'm sending them right to top flight. <laughs> it's um, the problem with the foam wing. You know what I want? We're talking about. What I wanted to do is get a young picture of George Aldrich off of one of the old Sigurds, and when you meet him, that's what happened with these. Well, we these watch that, Andrew. <laughs> I saw our hey, first George. Anybody accuses me of sexual harassment, I'll say thank you for the call. <laughs> <laughs> but coming, you know, this this gives me a, a, a idea. Uh, my shop is like 800 square feet. And, and this is 10,000. Uh, uh, 10 a portion of eight, it is. 8,000. Uh, it's 10 originally. Uh, Bridgeport like, uh, lathe is going in. Subway over there. Uh, along one wall, wall, we've got, got all of our wood tools, saws, sanders, that. <laughs> Yeah. My kind of guy. <laughs> in the center of the room, I've got my foam cutting rig. Make the chief of police out in the back. Yeah. EPA <laughs> office on the roof. And everything has to you know, serve the yeah. yeah. Well, that's basically what we have had last week. When we had that little house last week, I had pieces everywhere. I, I had nothing to gather. Like my nuts and bolts, I had some in one area and some in another area. And the wood in another area and the saws over here. And it makes me crazy. It was, it was just one and one And to get set up like this, now today when I set up to do this, this took all of probably about a half an hour, if that. This on a normal day, when we were in the I'll other building, it took me close to two hours. Well, it's all new, right? Yeah. This is all new. What are you looking for, Tom? I'm going to put other clock in. This is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Over here. Over it's not like making pizzas where you just sit at the oven and flip the dough all day, huh? This little sealer thing is really neat. This one we used on. You know, the only thing I have to tell you today, I'm real disappointed yeah. that John never I opened up a pizza parlor. Because can you picture Brodak's pizza? Brodak's pizza. 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 I was going to order Roy deliver it here. I don't know. I, I've never eaten there. I'll tell you what, if they'll deliver it, you can order some and I'll pay for it. Did you tell Somebody else is here. The color that was painting your tables. And he did his hinges, you know, he did his banana and stuff, and they all came out out of, out of what? Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that right here. Well, he didn't have enough, though, either. He just didn't have enough. Enough. Well, Snyder, you're done. Well, everybody's in your way. I mean, you know, when you're running production here, I see you. You had him work it. I see yeah. that. Jan, you, you see this, you're going to put your knee. Now, if it's only like eight seconds. You know, get on the roll here.
You can find it just, we did it down to 16, that's why I say the structure, it could be six foot off, because no machine does not work for the optimal uh, missile line. No. You know, we have to, you know, that is what makes clear that you got that. Right, right, that's right. Yeah, by the next time I come out here, it's got to be Brodax Pizza and Restaurant. That'll definitely do it. You get to the end here and you put your last bolt of washer and then you take a slice of pie. You go back, start again. Dun, 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 dun. And then what? Diet on the weekend when I'm not working? The hell with dieting. <laughs> dieting is for oh, other people. For other people. Let's see that motor mount. Ah, ah, no, no. defect. Ooh, ah, ah. Ooh. Uh oh, defect. That's defect. defect. That's right, see? This part would never go in a bro that no, hits. The mouse never. took a bite out of it. That would never go in. I know the perfect person to mail this to. <laughs> what are you doing? Stealing props from two Stealing of props. Oh my god. We gotta weigh people when they leave here. I bet you everybody gains about six pounds in blind nuts and <laughs> washers and stuff. 440 screws. Right. Even the girls go homo just a little heavier than they get here anymore. <laughs> but you're having fun and the main oh, thing... you better believe it. Absolutely. You tell me if I'm wrong. The main thing is at the end of your life you have to have fun. And I am so happy right now. You can get that on tape. I'm you're you're so ecstatic. I am so happy about this new building. You, uh, you better believe. believe it. So when will the work people be out of your way? Okay, we'd be out. Another week or so? Roughly. Shouldn't be too long. And you get a couple of good helpers like this guy down the end. And you got that thing to reheat the slices of pizza over there. I mean, what else could a woman want out of life? They put me a plug in right here. Did you yeah. See that today. You put Look it in this. so that I can bring my curling iron in, my hair dryer. Yeah. See, the only thing with my shop, nothing's up the code. If you, if you had a wire like this, you'd plug in your head right and the house would blow out. Well, that's where it was <laughs> over next door, before this. That's what makes you tough. Eyes here? Come on, smile. You're going to New Zealand today. <laughs> if you get any, any calls from New Zealand for these kits, you'll know you got it from me. Now, if you look here and smile, that one will go in stunt news. If I can get my lab to process it. Oh! You'll be famous. I'm going to be famous? Or infamous. Hang infamous. Out That's right. Yeah. You notice he's not taking any pictures of the other guys. <laughs> I give him one of these magazines. Right. Ten pictures of every woman, no men appear in the article. What does that tell you? Counter for the lines. Yeah, that's the counter. He takes the feet. Enough control line here, baby. You bought one of these, right? I bought one, yes. 10,000 feet on one of them. At least the one I have is. No, I got like a big one, 10,000 feet. But that's that's uh, the only way you can buy this stuff. Forget about buying it any other way. And how much is 10,000 feet? I don't even remember. Yeah. I bought it 10 years ago. It's probably doubled in price since now. Let's look at the lathe. Here's what we need down at your shop. We need a lathe to go with the milling machine. And that's a, that's a good one. This would fit in. Yeah, we could get that in. It's a jet. A jet. That'll fit right in there, no problem. No problem at all. Nice milling machine. <laughs> Just cut his finger off. Good. Did you just get here, Rich? Yeah. So it dies. Now what's, what's this? Mowing machine. That's what we're going to get Tuesday when we get back. Right, we got to pick it up. No, the heads rotate. You can rotate the heads. This is a nice one. Yeah. The one we have is a bridge board. We're excited. Yeah. Yep. Plans. You see the plan machine here, Ken? That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Machine to make plans. We got enough bags here, so I can go there tonight. Well, there's 20 people out at the field waiting for a signed autograph, George Aldrich flight They'll speed. They'll be here today. And they're depending on you. I, that's right. They're depending on you. I mean. The world hinges on these kids getting out. I will have them done. If I have to stay here till 9 o'clock tonight, they will be done today. If John wants them done today, they'll be done tonight. What about if I wanted them done? Tomorrow morning, right? <laughs> Next week. 
At least she's honest. Know, Wendy. <laughs> yeah, I'll get six. If John wanted them yesterday, they would have been done yesterday. All right. <laughs> One thing I have to say, all his kids come with nice instructions. <laughs> Well, I don't know if I trust this one. This one was ba made by Dave Braun and myself. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. So I don't know. Huh? Under here, everywhere you go, there's kits. Kits, kits, and more kits. Unbelievable. Bendy's ass. Get some off. I was in the middle of taking Sandy's. <laughs> I gotta say hello to you, Andrea. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, oh, it's good. a big crack in the window. Oh, look! I know what look. I was gonna do. I was gonna back up and come through here, and I thought, no. No, 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 no. We need you on the video. Now, your function here is parking coordinator. I just do what I'm told. Ooh, that's what I have to do when my wife's around. <laughs> but when she's not around, boy, do I have fun. Oh, All right. Oh. All right, ladies, let's hear the truth. <laughs> truth, we're, we're having an award for the sexiest man here. Who's your first choice? John Brodak? Yeah. Sure, Jack Petroli. <laughs> Jack Petroli? Who the hell is Jack Petroli? <laughs> what is this, the Petroli of Hawaiian? Holy cow! I thought you'd vote for me. I, uh, I'm, I'm so, oh man, I'm disappointed. I can't tell you. No, wait a minute. Now, Derek, Even Viagra won't save me now. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> See, you send all those tapes to my husband. That's yeah, right. To watch that, the pool, the thing with the fish, and the whole nine yards. The thing with the fish is a pond. <laughs> well, uh, the thing with the fish. He told me to watch that tape. <laughs> oh, God. That's a pond, not a thing with a fish. <laughs> I wanted it without the fish, though. No, you want the fish. You've got to have fish. They get sick, they die, they, they cost you a lot of money. you got to feed them and clean them and clean those fish. He probably won't take care of them. They'll probably won't forget. Well, you call me up. I'll come and take care of it. <laughs> I'll tell them that. Yeah, tell, yeah, you have it on video now. Oh, oh we have this on video now. Take care of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I love my fish. I've We're never trade my fish in. <laughs> yeah, bye. I sent her antique and she took all my money. I, no. I can't even go buy a pizza. I'm so embarrassed. We saw all those antique places coming in. They're all empty now. She's been to them already. <laughs> they're, they're all out of business. <laughs> oh my God. Well, Tom, you've, you've practiced more than anybody at the home meet. What do you think? Is it a surefire victory tomorrow or a... a what? Are we having a victory parade? Oh, wow. Who? <laughs> How's the air? Any good? Or? I caught some that wasn't bad, but now it's starting to blow up. Yeah, it looks pretty bad oh, now. I'm not, uh, I'm not keyed up for the rest of the afternoon. No, no. If I put my now, who's right. this victory? What's this guy? Victory, name? victory. We want to get a victory pizza party going here. Never, I never heard of this guy. Victory. Who is he? Victory Pizza. We want to have him deliver pizza here. <laughs> I never heard of Victory this I never Jack, since Jack hogged the flying field all morning, we figured he'd be <laughs> he'd be over at Domino's now scavenging up some pizza pies. I think, that, I I think Jack should buy. That sounds Give like Jack a plan. <laughs> Jack buys pizza for everybody. That's right. I'm in favor of Jack buy it. I quit, right. but I left my money home. Let me wallet it in your other suit. <laughs> Gee, what do you know about that? What a liar. <laughs> I got a bad guy. What a liar. He was too busy packing them. This is Bill Mazzoni, and we have his wife going to do commentary on Bill's flight. <laughs> his former wife. Soon to be former wife. <laughs> All right, the, the girls have voted him the best buns uh, runner-up award. Wendy, of course, gets the best buttered roll award here. Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm trying. Come on, Bill. How long did it take you to get out here? Six and a half hours. Yeah, it took us 14. We stopped at every antique dealer in <laughs> Pennsylvania. Oh, nice low pullout, Bill. My wife is still out antiquing. Yeah, right. Did you bring a big vehicle? Yeah, it was big until she started shopping. <laughs> Bill, you notice how we're paying strict attention to every maneuver, every nuance of this flight? Boy, look at my getting no respect. Did you girls get to see Brodak's shop? The new shop? The morning back at the garage? The 
big giant, I don't know, 25,000 square foot. It has, it has its own Burger King and everything inside. It's really oh, nice. you mean the Hobby Shack? Yeah. Oh, oh it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's yeah. really cool. Uh, I see a battery light coming on, Bill. <laughs> we ain't going to get the rest of this flight. Whatever we get, we get, but that's it, baby. We got to go charge some batteries up. Just at this key time in Bill's career when he was making a move for uh, Home Run King of the Year. So, Bill, your wife says you want to put a pond in. And, of course, it's got to be bigger than Wendy's. <laughs> nice and deep, too, Bill, so in case there's an accident. We... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the pond is a lot of fun. <laughs> Why are you laughing at him? He's your husband. <laughs> but it's a hell of a... Even my wife doesn't laugh at me. He just flies. I don't know. He just flies. Well, I thought I'd see, like, true respect of a man's talent and ability and hard work. As his wife said, look at that perfect triangle. So you can see the wind is... Look, poor Billy's getting the worst wind of the day here. He deserves it? Is that what you said? <laughs> On that, yeah. Come on, Bill. Hang tough. He, look, Bill is okay because I know he's built the Cardinal kit, so we have to give him the ultimate respect. Sometimes you can get this battery light to flash for a whole flight. I don't know. So any other personal thing about Bill Mazzoni you'd like to share with <laughs> people in New Zealand, Connecticut, and other foreign countries? Nah, he's just a good guy. He is. He hasn't signed up for phone service yet, so I don't know if I... I don't know. I'd consider him a real friend if he'd give me his business. I could make $2 a month off him or something. Uh, and he says his wife is going to be my best salesman. I don't know if she's my best commentator, right? Don't even do it. I'm like, I don't have time when I come home. He wants you to make money so he can go play to an airplane. Oh God! That's right. That's what my that's my motive. I have a feeling it's going to be a great weekend. Even if Bill doesn't entertain us by getting us pizza after this next flight, so I'd give anything for a slice of pepperoni pie right now. I'm so hungry. I, I'm so hungry. I could eat my own cooking. I was over at Rodak's shop and Sandy kicked me out of the parking lot, <laughs> harassed me, slapped me around a little bit, taught me who the boss of all Brodak Enterprises are. Sandy, you have my full respect. <laughs> Boy, that last slap really hurt, too. <laughs> she doesn't thought I'd get her. I like that, huh, Larry? I like it. I'm ready to get 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 it. I'm for paying this guy. I'll tell you what, how much would it cost to get some pies delivered here? Pies? Do they deliver pies? I don't know where the local pizza place is. So you see, John does. Talk to my man, John. Let's take a ride. 25 years continuous service.
Somebody up there getting smart. Get him on the phone. They have a buster. Yeah, I could throw it. Throw it right on the field. I mean, that's as high dollars better than this as it gets. Throw it right on the field. Right, I mean, no need to carry it in the car with all that messy loading and unloading. Just build it right at the field. That's fantastic. <laughs> he wants to take a ride, Dan. Hey, Wendy, all right. The gang is all here. How are you doing, guy? <laughs> Beautiful. Ready to fly it, or? Yeah, almost any time. Right, it's a little... Or does it have to come down a little bit? The wind, it's better if the wind ain't blowing. <laughs> <laughs> I find that hard to believe. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> this brings new meaning to the term whip up. The whip up gets a little fierce. <laughs> We're flying for Hamilton Standard. <laughs> we are going to look maybe for a lower pitch prop because we can't land it. Put the prop on backwards, that'll do it. And <laughs> land it to uh, a yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is the original one, right? The one yeah. you repaired? Okay. Yeah, this is the one that was this is crashed and been rebuilt. <laughs> Tell George, he must have shrunk over the years. George! Hey George! 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 Look what you started! <laughs> <laughs> You're up, George! That's job. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new Brodak kit. You can make a house or a flight streak, whichever you want. <laughs> Miracle Grow! <laughs> what you're saying is wherever you fly this, nobody comes over to watch you fly. You're kind of disappointed about the, the showability of it. Start backing up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that tape that you took off at Garden State. Is that why? <laughs> Wow. Oh, back up. I like you talking to, uh, what's his name, Augie. Oh, yeah. You gonna back up? <laughs> yeah, Augie, I got bad knees. How'd you like a plane in your head there? <laughs> that covering, you're right, though. Did you see, I thought, that, this thing is... Just sitting... Put it on 10,000 frames a second and watch the covering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it was going. It was going. <laughs> yeah. It still looks good, even after the repair. And, and, and knowing how many thousand times you watched Ted crash it at the shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> this is the man right here. <laughs> yep, I did it. First, he was the captain of the Titanic. <laughs> then the Lusitania, and then he flew the big flight speed. Now you left out the Hindenburg. <laughs> yeah, the Hindenburg. George at Hindenburg. Too. Right. And Flight 800. <laughs> I was a man. And the Challenger. Yeah. Right here, in the 10 hundreds, <laughs> the man. <laughs> Made one little error. And Boy, one little crash on video, and they got blown. <laughs> one little. The, he's also the vice president for weather this week. <laughs> yes. Everybody knows that, right? Ted in charge of going. guaranteeing no rain and wind. Okay, you, want, down here. you guys complaining? <laughs> Let me hear somebody yeah. complain right yeah. now. Let's hear the truth. The Julia was whining and groaning on the email that he's the only one out of your group who can't make it here. Why couldn't he make it? I want to know the truth. It's his, his job. Oh, man, a little thing like a job life getting away of modeling. <laughs> See, Steve, we respect yeah. you. The bills from the windy tapes. Oh, <laughs> <You're wrong>. <laughs> that on tape? Yeah, you <laughs> got to support windy. That's right. I'm going to move in with him with that shop. I know, with him, I'll move in with him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to buy the house yeah, next door. Yeah. I don't care. I got to see this more. I like to blow things up, but this is wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did they chain you to the wall? The oh, this thing or what? There you go. It's pretty white. <laughs> well, this is about what my airplane's like. Right. It's made out of sheetrock. God oh, damn, Sam. Look at that smoke system on this wall. You can put a little porta potty in <laughs> kind of neat stuff. Holy shit, that's a hell of a You see those wheels? Those are the spare tires to his car. <laughs> <laughs> if you break down on the way back to Philly, right? I love these guys. They're goofier than we are. But they're from Pennsylvania. Keep that in mind. That's what counts, right. <laughs> This right, thing yeah. is a blast of right. oh, We got an electric model on it. Oh, you have a ball. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a quarter inch. Yeah. 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 You take every dimension from the flight streak and just double it. 
The wing spars are three eighths by three quarters spruce. Yeah, I mean it's we overbuilt it, I think, but we didn't know what we were in for. From the looks of that crash, it didn't look overbuilt. From the looks of that crash, it was in so many little pieces, it was terrible. I'm amazed that you got it back. Right, you really wouldn't know it was crashed. You That's know, what's impressive. We got back to Ted's house with all the parts, and I mean he's trying to put together the wing ribs. Wow. Ah. I mean we're talking scattered little pieces. Where's Ted hiding? I mean, Ted, Ted, Ted. We just got to. Uh, He's hot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we can fix it, Ted. We, you got to relax. We got to build new ribs. <laughs> All we had sticking out from the wing was one, one spar. That was it. The only thing that's actually survived. Yeah, Ooh, the twins going up. Like, Let's get the yeah. twin. Come on. Yeah. Hey, John. <laughs> I guess the twin is the last thing we're going to get on this wheel, but we've got more tapes coming. And boy, there's stuff happening here. It's happening on four or five different circles. I want you got to be out at this meet next year. Got to do it. It's really fun. Now, I'll just run this tape out on the fly, but we'll try to get more of this as the next three days unfold. Hard not to like this, huh? We even got a two two four four break.
great airplane, great airplane. Fantastic! Take a bow! How about twenty dollar bills? <laughs> I'll take them. We're off to on the brick. <laughs> I'll be back. Another bored spectator. I'll be back. As Arnold Schwarzenegger once said, I need your clothes and boots and motorcycle. On the back, I can't even videotape from here. They're flying. Ken's trimming out his Nobla. I tape one ends, and I think everybody is really having a great time here. Everybody is having fun. Hard to describe the feeling in the air. It has really been a great day. I see Kyle Freeman down at the back circle. 